<sighs> crab cake. Crab cake, correct. Crab cake. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. What? It was the chef's creation. Bom dia from Floripa. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the magical island in southern Brazil. Today I'm going to take you to explore the east side of Florida Nopolis. Over here we have sand dunes, we have beaches, this beautiful lagoon, small town. We're going to go have some breakfast, have some seafood lunch. I'm super excited. I cannot wait. The seafood here in Brazil is outstanding. You're right, David. Man, that's people call it the magical island man as you can see it's so magical and magic and man we're gonna explore these dunes you know sand dune uh, this uh, lagoon is beautiful and these are the two main beaches of the east side of the island which is Joaquina Beach and Molly Beach Joaquina is like a well known for like surf contents a lot of good surfing and Molly is like kind of like more like a beach club you know a lot of good food the weather is beautiful so let's explore Florianopolis let's go bro let's go bro Hey, to the bone? <laughs> I'm hungry. I've had breakfast. I've only had a coffee. Cafe yeah, de mañana. Look at the sign. Oh, the sign right here? Yeah. This says I'm Floripa and I'm in Floridanopolis. Let's rock and roll, bro. Let's Can go, we see go. the beaches? The seafood here will blow your mind. Yesterday we had oysters, we had mussels, shrimp, oysters and shrimp. This is the oyster capital of Brazil. Let's go. Man, it's great. It's beautiful, man. I'm so excited to explore this part of the island. It's one of my favorite, you know? Beautiful. Unbelievable, this place. To me, it's one of the most beautiful uh, parts of the island, you know? Yeah, so it's Praia Mole, Para de la Lagoa. So that's sort of the, the area, right? Yeah, Each yeah. Thing, the name. La Lagoa da Conceição, which is a lagoon. This actually reminds me of some of the places I driven in India, like in Kerala, Kerala. going up and down hills, going to like Munar, that area, uh, Thakari. This is the downtown of the town. Yeah, exactly. Downtown of uh, Lagoa da Conceição. Really like this place, Suco da Saúde. They have good smoothie. It's kind of like uh, early right now, but yeah, it's always fun. Yeah, so it's basically just a small downtown, some you know commercial shops. There's yeah. not really apartment buildings here. No. I guess that's closer to the beach, right? Right. We found a little vendor selling some coconut water, some sugarcane juice, and that's right in front of the lagoon. Beautiful, nice boardwalk. Love this. Wow. And the weather's like perfect. It's like 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, a little bit of wind. I mean, I love this weather. I can do this weather every day. No, but so mad. He's just advertising his business, dude. He's hilarious. Sugarcane juice cola. So he's shoving the sugarcane into this grinder, right? And, but then he also puts the lime in between, so it grinds the lime in as well. You know, it's, uh, it just gives it more flavor, gives it a nice little tangy taste. Oh. Yeah, usually oh, we call cana or caldo de cana. I, I'm sorry, cana de açúcar. Cana, de açúcar. cana de sugar cane, cana de açúcar. Não, tem que tomar isso. Toma tudinho, toma tudinho. Chora na cabeça. Toma todo. Uh -huh. Agora, pera pá. Hum. Toma todo. Isso, calma, calma, você desce os peixes, devagar, calma, eu desço o fogo. Tio Rio, tio Rio, tio Rio. Um pouquinho, Tomás. Eu não falo inglês, eu falo espanhol. He wants to fill us up more and more and more. Give me a lot, man. A todos da TV do David. Nós te dando bom dia. Até amanhã, a partir das 8 horas da manhã, em Brasília, agora com vocês, olha, com mais um telejornal do Chupetone, em Floripa. Bom dia. Gente, obrigado, amigo. obrigado. Thank you, thank you. He's so friendly. Delicious. Sugarcane juice with some lime. 
Oh, so refreshing is the perfect thing to start a day. You know, I didn't have breakfast. This is what I wanted. I wanted, you know, a little bit of a cleanse. Been eating so much lately. Then in the mornings, I just want some juice, super fresh juice. With this view, hey, Brazil, you're amazing. Oh, wow, so refreshing. It was good, this one is with lime. It's pretty good, not too sweet, it's good. And you can see the color, like really fresh. So each cup of sugar cane costs five, so 10 total. Obrigado. Thank you. <laughs> the guy was wild, bro. Yeah, wild. Hawaii canoeing. I know, amazing. It's cool, huh? Yeah. It's cool. Let's go. This place is so beautiful. Lots of dunes. Lots of dunes. Look at this, the dunes on the right. So they're going to the left. Yes. You have the street and then dunes. Never ending dunes. Here's wow. A, it's a perfect place to fly the drone so you can see this part of the island from the top, right? It's beautiful. I've never been to a beach like this. Crazy, huh? This is crazy. Yeah, now actually we're not going to the beach right now. We're going to explore the dunes. Yeah, okay, so the dunes is just dunes, just not beach. Because it goes yeah. to the lagoon. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Wow. And you can rent sandboards right here? Yes. Oh man, but I'm gonna hurt myself if I do that. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys can do it if you want to. You can come right here, rent a sandboard, go on the dunes. Yes. Amazing. Can't wait, man. And you're gonna see part of this uh island from the top of the dunes. How yes. high is it? Very high, man. That's why I call the Waimea, man. It's huge. Wow. Yeah. Tudo bom? Tudo bem. Qual o valor? Vita com pessoa hora. Uma hora. So they have these sandboards, but they also have sandboards more like a sled, right? So you just sit down and hold on. So if you know how to snowboard, that's probably really easy for you. I don't know how to snowboard, I know how to ski, so I wouldn't really try that right now. I don't, wouldn't want to risk it and get really hurt. This one's cool though. I mean, if we have some time, maybe we should get on it. What do you think? What? How much is it for, this, for the board? 30 reais, one hour per person. Okay guys, so we're gonna get these Sandboard sleds. Let's go up there. Over to go. It's gonna be great. From the top. Let's see how this is. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Huge dunes. What? Over here to the right, we have the tallest one. You can look over the entire lagoon. Well, wow, no. the ocean's right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this small hill first. The other side's scary down okay let's go for a ride oh, hoo, hoo. Woo. It is, that's why I call Waimea, man. Oh my God. Yeah. Intense. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. This guy like, <laughs> broke his ass. Yeah, same boy. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time? Yeah, this is so addictive, man. I know, I know. Right, and it's a great workout. Uh -oh. Yeah, I need the wax. Yeah. You have the wax? No. He gave it to you now? <laughs> well, that was really, really fun. No it's an experience. Yeah. If uh, if you're not a snowboarder, I don't recommend this one that you stand on. It's just not worth the risk. He like broke his butt. He easily just fly super high. Easy like a, I'd say like 15 meters, 15 meter dune. I recommend this one. It's cool. We spent like 45 minutes here. Now it's packed. A lot of people coming here, just walking the dunes, taking some photos, and that's it. So we're gonna go back in the car, drive straight to the beach. Woo! Amigo. Opa. Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> hey. Tudo bom? Tudo bom. Tudo certo. 
<laughs> Obrigado, amigo. You need to be careful, man, because you can get like some serious damage, you know, like get hurt. Yeah. So once you put a lot of wax on the board, uh, yeah, man, be careful. If you're, you know, beginner, beginner novice, it's, yeah, dangerous. Where are so, we going next? Now Joaquina Beach. It's a very famous uh, beach for like surf, uh, surfing. A lot of uh, international surfing contest. Beautiful beach called Joaquina. It's right in front of us. Literally yes. a one minute drive from the dunes. Exactly. And here we go, parked right next to the beach. There's a few restaurants, some vendors selling some clothing, some towels, uh, basically souvenirs, right? And then over here, there's a hotel, Chris Hotel. There's a surf school. Again, he said, this is like one of the most famous places in Brazil to go surfing, huge waves, long beach. Wow, what a beautiful day. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Huge. Good surfing, even it's still like kind of like end of spring, begin of summer. Yeah. Uh, beautiful, man. Look at the, the, the size, right? Like, size I don't huge. Know, it's like five kilometers. Yeah, and you can probably walk up for a long time. You can see they're like walking at least like, I don't know, 100, 200 meters deep and it's still yeah. very low, right? And it's very shallow. And one of shallow. the things I like about the beaches in the south of Brazil as well, northeast of Brazil, man, they have like a huge infrastructure, right? Like a table, chair, umbrella, they have like a restaurant so you can have like a full meal on the beach so you don't need to, you know, leave the beach to go to a restaurant. It's pretty nice to have a hotel, convenience store, you know, lots of dunes. So if you want to like go all the way down, like be more exclusive, you know, more like chill. It's long, right? Like Very long. Man, I, I would say more than five kilometers. Easy, wow. easy. It actually reminds me of some of the beaches that I saw in Costa Rica. Right. Just the way it is. Which part? Uh, like a, no, like Guanacaste. I love beaches like this. They are really relaxing, nice white sand. Over there is white, here is like a little more brown. I've never really seen this. Like the restaurant has tables directly on the beach. So you can be like swimming, go over here, have some oysters, jump back in the water. Beautiful spot. So if you're a surfer, come here. One of the top surfers in the world lives in Floripa. Whoa. Tudo bem? Beleza? Beleza. Beleza spiaggia. Tá bonito, né? Muy bonito. This water is freezing. Hey, it's helado. I didn't know it was going to be that cold, dude. It actually gave me a little shock. Fria. Gelada. Always cold, but to be honest, today it's kind of nice. Yeah, comparing, yeah. comparing to like what is normal, you know, here. I mean, it's perfect though because with the sun, super hot, yeah. you come into the water, you get refreshed. It's actually the current. Wow, look at the surfers. Hey, the waves aren't that bad. So you're saying in deep winter, like in a month, it's going to be huge waves. Eight to ten feet, so like three, four meters. Woo! This is real Brazil. Found a better spot to view the surfers. To so climb up to the boulders, not so hard pretty easy just be aware it's a little slippery come out here you get beautiful views of all the surfers seeing the waves waves aren't so bad right now in terms of height probably like four or five feet they're catching some of them but I mean it's very choppy it's not like perfect waves right but I mean from here the view is just epic and over there I mean this is it right this is a small town or a small little village you know a few shops a few restaurants and it ends right there and then from there to the end it's straight dunes just dunes beach and the ocean beautiful i am really in awe with this place just gorgeous a must visit in floripa this reminds me more of uh, some places in southeast asia you know everywhere you go it's gonna remind you of something right molly beach molly beach Woo. praia praia molly how far is it i would say 10 minutes i'm not i'm not Almost positive, but I think something like 10 minutes, not not too far. Hey, tudo bom? Bom dia. Bom, bom dia. Okay. Seguinte, cara, a gente está fazendo é, uma filmagem de 48 horas aqui em Florianópolis. Era só para fazer uma tomada rapidinho, cara. Queria saber se dava para ficar aqui só 5 minutos rapidinho. Não pode ser. Esse, tá bom. Não vai demorar, não. Obrigado. Valeu, obrigado. So they usually charge a few dollars, US dollars, to park here, but we just want to like literally walk off be here 10 minutes, see it, and come back. So he's gonna give it to us for free. Right. Very nice guy. Yes, very nice. I love this like jungle sand path. Yeah, man, most of the beaches here in Florianopolis, uh, for you to reach the, the sand, right? You have to walk like through some jungle. Yeah, always, man. And uh, it's very wild, right? So there's a beach club. 
Beautiful. Salman, how you doing? Bom dia. What a beautiful beach. Look at that. All the surfers at the very end trying to catch some waves. We're relaxing. And he's saying that that beach club during summer, like in about a month, let's say like early January, right after New Year's, it is packed with the most beautiful women in Brazil. Absolutely. Uh, they're now originally just from Santa, Cat Santa Catarina State, but also Rio Grande do Sul State, okay. which is kind of like the models factory. Yeah. Where like Giselle Bint and uh, other exactly. top celebrities, all, top models. Because they're all like European descent, mixed. Exactly. Mixed. Yeah, it's a mix of uh, Portuguese, Italian, Brazilian, Africa, uh, German. Wow. Great, man. And look at this. Surfers. Dude, there's some pretty good waves. It I mean, is, it is. It's awesome. And it's like almost summertime, so small waves. Imagine you come here like during uh, fall and winter, man. It's great, you know, like. Best time to come to Florinopolis is between like late December and let's say March 1st. That's the best time. That is their summer. Remember, Southern Hemisphere summer is our winter, okay? And this is the beach. I mean, amazing. Beautiful women, very nice people. Hey, bom dia. Is the band, the band? <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can go surfing, walk around, relax at the beach club, have a drink. And that's it, guys. I mean, this is the beach. Now we're gonna go. I'm starving. I am so hungry. Seafood, ostras, shrimp. Let's do it. Hell yeah, man. Really hungry. After here, we're going to a nice place. We're gonna take the boat. We're going to a restaurant. We're gonna try some local food. I can't wait to enjoy this beautiful day with you, David, here in Florianópolis. Obrigado. Hi, Rafael, my name is Rafael. David. David. This Pleasure. is my girlfriend, Lalini. Lalini. David. Oh. Um prazer. Prazer, um prazer. Um prazer. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Let's go to lunch, bro. Let's I'm go, hungry. man. I'm hungry too. Let's go. So this ferry terminal is located in the middle of a park, well, on the lagoon, but you have to go through a park. So it takes like around 15 minutes to go from the beach we just were to here. So you just make a quick right, go straight all the way, and then you have to make a sharp left, and you go straight through this, uh, like this forest, right? So it's like a, so it's paved, but some parts are dirt, and there's a lot of potholes. Yes. So basically, uh, this road is between the ocean and the lagoon, right? Tá bom? Tá bom, boa. Boa tarde. Tá lá de boa, boa tarde. Boa tarde. Não, bom dia. This is beautiful. So, it's a long pier. It's like five different boats here. We don't know exactly how it works, but we think it's upon arrival. So you arrive, you pay, they'll cross you over to the restaurant. 20 reais per person, round trip. Yeah, the side de quanto em quanto tempo? Yeah, every 10 minutes. I guess I'll just give him this, right? Sand. Para aí e vou ver. Okay, so this is the go, this is the comeback. Let's not lose this. Good tarde, good tarde. 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 Love it. It's awesome. Let me breathe. Fresh air, beautiful scenery, love the sun, it's not so hot. So how long does it take? Like 10 minutes to cross over? How long does This is like the boat that's like, a, it feels like a huge canoe, but the good thing is they have covering, right? So they have a roof and you have this open. Love it. So peaceful out here. There's a ride, so when you're done, you wait 10 minutes and another boat comes and gets you. Exactly, That's so convenient, it. man. Super convenient. I love the scenery here. This is really, really beautiful. I've been to a place in Croatia that looks similar, similar. Yeah. yeah, they, they farm oysters there as okay. well. Similar like landscape, right? So you have the mountains, yeah. very green, like a small town. It, it reminds mean, a little bit of Lago de Como as well in Italy. Exactly, the Como exactly, Lake, yeah. a but, little bit. Yeah, and like Lugano, right? Lugano too, yeah. Beautiful. So he drops us off directly at the restaurant. The restaurant is up here. We pull up, get off. Here we can sit outside and eat some delicious seafood. Exactly. Shrimp, oysters, pulpo, everything. Everything. Obrigado. Hello, my friend. 
É você? Sim. Bem? Tudo. Ok. Sim. Cachaça, sim? Vamos, vamos. This place, man, it's uh, been 40 years. So look the picture of the like the first year of like when they're operating. Like so. How can I explain, man? Like simple. Yeah. Rustic. Simple. Mm -hmm. Rustic. So it was a rustic restaurant. Now they've expanded. They've added two different piers so you can come on the boat. They've expanded the restaurant in terms of seating. You can sit over here, you know, huge tables, all wooden tables. Right here in front of us, more wooden tables. And then you can go onto the pier area where it's like a more open air, no covering. Obviously, they have umbrellas if you want. We're gonna sit here, relax, have some cachaça, maybe a beer, a lot of seafood. Hey, David, this is for you. What is it? Yeah, it is uh, jabuticaba caipirinha. Jabuticaba, there's no meaning because jabuticaba is a uh, Brazilian fruit. It comes from the, 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 the berry family, right? From the tree. Mm. Oh man, the alcohol? Yeah. Tastes it right away. Yes. You know what's like a martini? Yeah. But as you can see, man, the texture and it kind of looks like, like a big blueberry, you know? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so there's different berries in here. Uh huh. Right? Then you have Actually, ice. Just, just one different berry. Lots of berries, but just one kind. That's vodka. Yes. That's vodka. That's not cachaça. Let me check. Yeah, this is a cachaça butia. Butia is the name of a local fruit that they're like so much in this region of Santa Catarina State. So whatever you go in any city in Santa Catarina State, they have butia. So this is cachaça butia. So sugarcane liquor mixed with the fruit, right? Exactly. Mixed. Okay, yes. awesome. You say I'm gonna like it, right? Yeah, you're gonna love it. Delicious, man. This is nice. This is more like a sour. Yeah, a little sour, a little bitter, and at the same time a little honey, right? Yeah, flour, a little honey. Flour. Yeah, I mean it's a little sweet. Obviously, it's a it's strong in alcohol. Probably yeah. up there like 30%. It's yeah. not as strong as grappa yeah, stuff, it, but it's a very tiny yellow fruit. Butcha amarelinha, na pequenininha. É, eu tomava muito lá no It reminds me of raki in Croatia. <laughs> Yeah. In Croatia, I've had a lot of rakia, right. but it mixed rakia. with berries, yeah. like strawberry, blueberry. Right. It's called butchia, the fruit that you have in the, the cachaça. Mm -hmm. I like it. Let's see what it's all about. Mm. It's nice. It's tough. Mm -hmm. Star fruit. Star fruit as well. Very sour. Yeah. Mm. I actually love star fruit. I like the yeah, bite to it. The juices come out. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. We're gonna see how they make some of the seafood. Right here, she's making like a shrimp kebab. You have some fish here, more shrimp. It looks delicious. Oh, bon bon. Cheers, camarão. Camarão com tudo. Legal. Camarão e peixe, né? So what she's preparing for us now it's a braised crab meat with white sauce, two different types of sauce, some seasonings, then uh, parmesan cheese on the top uh, and put in like in an oyster shell. And then she's going to put in the oven. This is gonna be delicious. My mouth is salivating right now. I am so hungry. As far as I know, only this place uh, make this type of dish into the oyster shell, as far as I know. Tudo Fried croquettes, fried shrimp. We're also having this fish. Yeah, except the other crab then into the oyster, which is not. That's baked. Yeah, baked. it's baked. It's a little baked. different. But this looks delicious. So she's using two different types of flour. Correct. Right? So and that's the, right the on the egg, side, right? right? The egg that works kind of like a glue, right? Always, always. Yeah, always, always. This, this is, is a standard, right? Yeah, now she's going to, to grill uh, soy fish, right? Which is, man, at the moment in this region now, plain of soy fish, which we call linguado, right in front of the restaurant. So farm to table. Mm. 
acertar os bolinhos de seria. Vou trocar a bateria ali, deu ruim. Aqui é um sal colorido que a gente faz. Sal, é? Já dá pra ver. Coisa linda, hein? Só tem vira. Não. Tá feliz. <risos> tá. Que lindo, cara. Bom. Pimenta biquinho. Alright, my friends. That was epic. We saw they made the three dishes. Woo! So we have some crab, like, salad stuffed on top of the oyster shell with cheese on top baked. Then we have so yeah, the two crab, crab dishes. Yeah, it's one of the main dishes in Santa Catarina state. And then the a crab fish croquette. with shrimp, shrimp, rice, and banana. Yeah, and kind of like a, a fish broth. Awesome. Yeah. Let's eat. We are excited. Two crab dishes. These are delicious croquettes. Obviously, we've had them all over the world. Yeah. Cuban culture, they love it. Here we have like a crab salad stuffed into the oyster shell with the cheese. Yeah, it was like braised uh, crab. Ooh, it's still super hot. Yeah, with uh, Parmesan cheese and some cream cheese. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, it's gonna be hot, right? Yes. Mm. Kind of like a mm. sh shredded uh, crab meat, right? Crab cake. Crab cake, correct. Crab cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Um. What? It was the chef's creation, so you can only have this dish here at, at this restaurant. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I love the sea salt a little bit. Mm. But but you know the sea salt is just for decoration. It's good but though. If, but if you feel like eating, no problem. No, gonna have a little bit in here. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's all good. So good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Next up. Croquettes. Yeah, which is uh, one of the main dishes of Santa Catarina state. Of the state? Of the state. Okay. Obviously we dip it in this delicious like pink. It, it might be like ketchup and mayo, right? Yeah. Golf sauce. Golf sauce. Okay. A little more. Usually you guys do with the with the shrimp cocktail. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I like it. That is incredible. Oh. Still so hot. A lot of meat. A lot of meat. So basically the whole thing is crab meat and uh, a little bit, I guess there's like a vegetable in there. Very little dough. Mm -hmm. That's good. Usually like in Miami, you know, obviously Cuban influence, we have a lot of croquetas, but they're way too mushy. This thing is like straight meat. We call it like kind of like a cement, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like too dry too. Too dry. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes salty. Salty, uh-huh. I can eat like 50 Delicious. of these. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I would suggest you, you take a bite and then okay. squeeze some lime on the top. Alright, let's do it. Ready? Yeah, but, yeah, do a bite. Now. Now, now it'd be much better. Tell me. You can't get wrong with the crab and, and, and lime. Croquette? Lime juice. Crab and croquette. Yeah. In Brazil. The best croqueta of all time. Absolutely, man. Dude, there's so nothing fresh. better than that. No, so good. I personally don't know croquetas, but I can eat that whole plate. Yeah, actually, it was the owner's recommendation. Like, you must order these three dishes uh, wow. when you're here. So, you can't get wrong, you know? You can't make a mistake. Round two? Round two, let's go. This is one of the most delicious stuffed oysters ever. Crab meat. It's like a crab cake with cheese baked. It will blow your mind. It's too good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh wow. Well. 
Clutch Grip Cap. Must dip. Mm hmm. And this is the main course. It is woo, amazing. So we have fried shrimp. We have this sole fish. So I think, yeah, they, they fish right in front of the restaurant. Banana. Banana. This is all grilled. This is fried. Yeah. We have French fries, rice, and fish stock gravy, which is called Pirão de Peixe. Pirão de Peixe. Pirão de Peixe. So pretty much all the, not the leftover, I would say, from the fish, but the, the spine, the, you know. So they put it into like a fish stock gravy. So they, they mix it up and they, make they it mix a it up with uh, manioc flour. Okay, because it looks like grains. So yeah, that's the flour. As you can see, the flour. Yeah, yeah. manioc flour. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So how do and we do it? And you can see it has some uh, pieces of fish, right? Okay. So basically, you just grab the like a uh, fillet. Okay. And do it like this, no problem. Yeah. Uh, grab some shrimp. Oops. Oh wow, that banana looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you don't eat the skin, right? You can have this one, yeah. the whole thing. No, no, I got half. Half. This is Simple, delicious. good. And then the shrimp. And what you do, man, uh, first you usually you get the rice. Okay. And then on the side or on the top, you put the, the fish stock gravy. But it's okay, okay. just put it on the side. Yeah, no so problem. I'll put it like... Yeah, it, it's a simple meal, right? Like uh, this is like home meal. Home meal. I was about to say that. Home meal. This is farm to table home meal. Exactly. Everything simple, right? Like uh, they use the the the, the ingredients they have here. So for your drink, they catch the fruit. Mm -hmm. The banana is here. Everything's here, man. Self-sustainable. And I think the shrimp needs this, right? Exactly. Mm. Really good. It's actually so it's like. Double layered, yeah. Double layer in uh, two types of flour, as you can mm -hmm. see. We're like uh, Michelle was preparing, right? You feel it, mm -hmm. definitely thicker, more dense than the ones we have before. And to get the, the crunchiness, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I need that all day, all day, all day. Easy, but we should jump on the fish. Let's do it. Linguado, linguado. Wow, look at this. No spines, no, no bones, no spines, just the filet, man. Okay, yeah, cheers. Beautiful. You can tell it's not the catch of the day. Man, they catch like a couple days ago. It's dry, but it's very nice. Mm -hmm. No bones. And the best thing about this is you're eating it while you're looking at the sea or the you know the bay. Yeah. And, no, it's actually the lagoon. Lagoon. The lagoon. Yes. Huge lagoon. And that's it, man. It's okay. Like... Next time I would suggest we get a piece of the fish, the banana, rice, and the, the fish stock gravy all together. Like salty, sweet. You gotta mix it all, right? Yeah, look. Banana. Look, yeah. like this. Right? That's my type of meal, you know, mixing, flavors, yes. textures. Look. That's how you really understand what the food's about, yeah. right? Do it. Mmm. contrast, banana. The sweetness of the banana, the soundness of the fish. Wow. And this isn't so bad. Like, it's uh. No, when they know how to do it, the, the fish stock gravy, man. Sometimes you don't get like good ones, but this one's pretty good. It's almost like grits. Yeah. In America, oh, grits. grits. Yeah. Grits. I mean, just basically grains, right? Mm -hmm. We had such a beautiful day. This morning has been, it's been long. We started at seven in the morning, driving all the way over to this side of the island. This side of the island. We have sand dunes, we have beaches, two beautiful beaches. You can go there, relax, mm -hmm. have some drinks, or go surfing, dive in. If you're with a family, it's perfect for families. Then from there, Absolutely. we came up here, you know, across, cost 20, so like $4 each to cross. Round the trip. restaurant, yeah, round trip. round trip. And we had this beautiful meal. We had the crab, crab, so crab, like cake. Crab, yeah, crab cake. In an oyster. Yes. Then we crab have croqueta. crab croqueta, which yeah. is amazing. We still have one more to go. That's yours. Yes. <laughs> and then we had shrimp with saltfish, banana. The banana was the best part for me. It just made the sweetness. Yeah. I mean, I can keep going with this, but absolutely. Wow, dude. Thank you so much. This is thank you, man. It was an amazing day. And this is something that most people don't know about Florinopolis. It's more than just beaches. A lot of culture, a lot of activities, and forever food. Seafood, the best seafood in Brazil. 
absolutely. I mean, so far for me. Thank you for the opportunity to, you know, show you around, man. We are so happy for the opportunity, and it's good to be back in Florianopolis, man. I love this town. I love it too. Yeah. Guys, if you love the video, thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Florianopolis. Hey, man. Peace. I'm not gonna stop eating. Me too. Mm. It's like too good, man. Yes. I waited all day for this.